Hi everyone. Someone had a question about this bottle cap punch. So I'm going to do um, a little review on some of the things that I use it for. I got this at Hobby Lobby on clearance a while ago, but I, I did link one in the description box from Amazon that is similar. Um, so what, what a bottle cap punch is, you know, typically you get a little bottle cap and you can just you know, put a hole into it like this so that you can hang it off something, okay? But the other thing we like to use it for is, well, the other thing I like to use it for is, okay, here's an example. Let's say you want to put a little charm up here at the tippity top, but let's say you don't have a grommet that's small enough now the one eighth grommets will probably fit right here, but let's say you didn't have any. Let's say you just wanted to do it at the tippity top here for whatever reason you needed to. All right, so you would just take it and you would make your little hole. That way you could add your charm and lucky me, I forgot my tools to take with me today so that I could close this. But let's see how well I do with my fingers. All right. See if I can get it a little bit more flush. Yep, yeah, there we go. So you could also use it in a situation like this where if the grommet is going to be, uh, you know, too big for where you need it, you can just put a little hole punch like that. Another thing that works is now Happy Birds Glitter Nest did um, a tutorial on making these little Christmas charms, uh, these little Christmas ornaments. And here's one example where she took a sticker and we coated the back with glitter. And this glitter happens to be Snowy Surprise. You can get it at Walmart. It's a really pretty, um, it's got blues in it and like an iridescent. I love this glitter. I have a few stocked up. I forget the name of it, but if you go in the craft section where all the glitters are, you'll find them all in stacks. And there's pinks and blues and silvers and all kind. And this one's named Snowy Surprise. So it would also come in handy when you're going to be doing a charm or an ornament like this and you need to make a little hole. Okay. A cute little snowman there. So I'll show you. I took this sticker yesterday. I had in my stash. Look at this little Santa and it's got it's got little little sequins and little oh these are little seed beads iridescent seed beads in here okay and I put snowy surprise on the back but I'm, I gotta go over this with a little bit of triple thick and that way the the um, sparkles won't go everywhere they'll stay put but for the purpose of this video, I don't have time to do that. So I'm going to just show you quick what else it's good for. So if you want to make one of these or hang, hang a dangle from anything you want to do and you don't need a grommet but you need a little tiny hole, you just take this, right, you put it in the middle or wherever you need it. All right, and there you have it. And then I'll put this together now so you can see this. Which, this, let's see if this will work. Yeah, it'll go through. I didn't know if I needed a bigger jump ring, but no, this would be fine. There we go. See, 
So you could also use it as a little, when you need to dangle something in a situation, you know, where you can't use a grommet. I mean, let's say you just need a little hole. So here's another um, way you can use it. And I'm sure there's tons of things you can use it for. Um, see, all the sparkles went on here. Now I'll show you the other one. The other one with the triple thick, it doesn't come off. No sparkles in my hand. So put the triple thick on the back if you want to make these. Um, and the, the glitter is not going to go anywhere. But, you know, if you don't put it on the back, you see you get it all here. So that's a good tip, too. When working with glitter, if you don't want it to go anywhere, put triple thick on top of it. You can use glossy accents as well. It's basically the same thing. But it's a lot more expensive, and you just get a little tiny jar. You're better off getting a, a big jar of triple thick, in my opinion. So I just wanted to show you... Um, what I use this bottle cap punch for, I will link it down below to the person that had questions about it. I hope that um, you found this video helpful. So, happy crafting, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!